An average man, he needs to sleep for eight hours. A third of the day is spent sleeping. So in other words, we can say 20 years a man spends doing nothing, the sleeping. And then he's got another 40 years. And I want you to think about a child who recently entered school. Typically, he cannot wait till he finishes school and go to college. Yet very soon, he fi find himself enrolled in college. At this stage of life, he's not, he does not even recall the long years of his school. He already has other things in his mind. He wants to take advantage of these precious years to ease the fears of the future. He then finds himself in the university and graduates. Before long, he becomes busy arranging his forthcoming wedding. Yet time passes faster and faster than he expected. And soon he finds himself supporting his family. By the time he becomes a grandfather, an old man now declining health, he hardly recalls the events of his youth. The appointed time approaches. The time left is very limited. A few years, few months, few days, and then few hours. Nevertheless, when death comes to man, all the realities of life, all the distractions of this life, they vanish. There is no reminder of good old days. Think of everything you can do now. You can blink your eyes, you can move your body, you can speak, you can smile, you can walk, you can drive, you can listen. All these functions of your body. Now think about the state and the shape your body will form after death. You will not able to blink your eyes. You will not able to move your lips. You will not able to listen to anything. You will not able to laugh. You will not able to talk. You will not able to walk. From the moment you breathe your last, you will become nothing except a heap of flesh, a body, a very silent body. Your body is silent and motionless and it will be carried away. It will be then washed for the last time. You will be shrouded with three pieces of cloth or five for sisters. Your body, your corpse will be carried in a coffin to the graveyard. Once you are laid in the depths of the ground, the people will cover you with soil. You will never see the daylight again. This is the end of your life. This is the end of your story. From now on, you are simply one of the names represented in the graveyard by the marble stones. During the first months or years, your grave will be visited frequently. As time passes, fewer people will come. Decades later, there will be no one left to come to your grave. So on the one hand, you're in a grave. On the other hand, your family members will experience a very different aspect of a death. At home, your room and bed will be empty. After the funeral, little of what belongs to you will be kept at home. Most of your clothes, shoes, money for example, will be given to those who need them the most. Your file at the public registration office will be deleted. During the first years, some will mourn for you. Five of four or five decades later, there will remain only a few who remember you. Before long, new generations will come and none of your generation will exist any longer on this earth and there will be no one who will remember you. While all this is taking place on the earth, the corpse under the soil, imagine your body, imagine yourself in the grave. The corpse, the body, we go through a very rapid process of decay. Soon after you are placed in the grave, the bacteria and insects will multiply and your body will begin to decay. This is because there is no oxygen and due to the absence of ox oxygen, the insects, the bacteria, they will multiply 
and they'll spread all over your body. The gases released from these organisms will inflate the body. Starting from the stomach, abdomen, it will change and alter the shape and the appearance. Foam will pop out from the mouth and from the nose due to the pressure of gases on the diaphragm. Your eyes, the eyes will turn purple and the body undergoes great changes. As corruption proceeds, body hair, nails, soles, eventually the palms, the ears will fall off. In the meantime, the most horrible scene takes place in the stomach, in the abdomen, where the skin can no longer bear the pressure of gases and suddenly it bursts, spreading the most disgusting smell. And starting from the skull, muscles will detach from their particular places. Skin and soft tissues will completely disintegrate. The brain will decay. This process will go on until the whole body or you will be reduced into a skeleton. The same body which we spend so much time to look after is now turned into soil. However, my dear brothers and sisters of Islam, the question is, how much did we take care of the soul which is going to last forever?